So this is going to be a reading for my Geminis. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and see what's going on. Any information that you need to book a personal will be listed in the description as well. Wow, that song card just flew. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into it. So first thing that you may not be expecting to happen, Gemini, something with the Leo may come up. Uh, in regards to the Zodiac sign, though, of whoever this individual is, I think that you're going to have happier times, a uh, happier sense of, like, how do I say this? You and your person could be in happier energy, especially if things have been, like, more so chaotic, have been out of place, for a little bit a lot of you could be moving to a better space and for others of you be recently divorced separated broke up with your lover you could be a lot more at peace or happy than you may have expected yourself to be maybe you expected yourself to be down in the dumps crying sad because you had visions you had goals for what this connection could be but for a lot of you, it's more so you accepting the reality that maybe this person isn't the one or maybe that fantasy of what could have been isn't necessarily going to fit with this person. All right. Um, another thing that I'm seeing, if you have children, you could have some sort of like problems with the person you may have children with. There could be things that you guys are not in agreement over so there could be like heavy debates between you two or even emotional conversations may come up in terms of what's going on with the like personal relationship you guys have with each other and you could be wondering if in this person's like efforts to try to fix things is it genuine is this person's intentions real it's just a lot of questioning around the the genuine aspect of this offer for a lot of you too you could also start to realize that you're not really like connecting with the same desires that you may have had two years ago an example of this like maybe two years ago you wanted to become a science teacher and now you want to be a hairstylist but it took you two years to get to this point to realize that maybe you wanted some sort of like shift in your career and maybe you evolved over the years as well and you just don't find yourself interested in the same things this is what i'm seeing all right let's keep going gemini sun moon rising and venus placements all right so i have the five of wands the ace of pentacles high priestess the full card lovers six of swords ace of cups in reverse bottom of the deck we do have the empress okay so yeah going more in depth with the empress card being at the bottom of the deck here with it being in reverse it just feels like there's an epiphany that's happening during this time frame that Anything that's stunting your personal growth or even taking you out of your character, out of your like maturity, out of your energy of like evolving in terms of how you handle situations, you guys are going to see how you need to separate yourself more and more. What is this? The one, two, three. The nine of wands? Hold on. Oh no, this is the eight of wands. So yeah, this is needing to move beyond. And then we have the Empress and the Emperor. So family matters for sure could be coming up, coming to a head. Hmm. What you may not be expecting to happen, you could be having some arguments with some coworkers uh, or a boss here in terms of pay. There could be this issue that you're seeing in terms of like you being passed up for for like raises or promotions and you could really feel irritated or aggravated about that during this time frame. You could even just feel this strong sense of people in the workplace or a particular person not liking you or having some sort of issue or gripe. And you could be wondering whether or not you should just consider getting a new job considering the fact that it's just not worth the drama. 
Uh, you could also start to realize someone, okay, if you're talking to someone new, you could start to realize that you and this person have different ideals or different wants and it could cause some sort of confliction internally for you you could start to wonder if you should just kind of cut this person off or is there still a chance for something it just kind of feels like you start to see this person for who they are and it makes you wonder like is this person really a candidate for me to take them serious okay also there could be money money problems that may need to be sorted out this could be like a bill that randomly comes up this could be like a ticket that you have to take care of like there could be a random expense that expense that comes up that just kind of throws you off a little bit so definitely make sure that you're saving for a rainy day okay um okay so looking deeper you also could be wondering if you're right about someone here. You could be questioning your intuition and spirit is going to confirm whatever you may have been feeling, whatever intuitively you may be um, like led to do during this time frame. If you go against it, I think that your spirit guides are going to show you where you may have needed to listen to your intuition and maybe not disregard those intuitive nudges. Especially if this has anything to do with like a opportunity that you could have jumped on or that you could jump on. Okay. Some of you guys could have a partner who says some very reckless things during this time frame. So be careful of miscommunication or things going really left. Especially if there's like infidelity issues in this relationship or problems with conveying the problems without it being like this whole big blow up. Hmm. Some of you guys also will be able to set plans and motions in terms of a move. I'm seeing that as well. Only thing is make sure that in this move that you're really looking at your options and not just jumping on the first one you see. All right, what are some further things that my Geminis may not be expecting to happen for the rest of October? So we have the witch, and this represents the earthly weaver of the world. Okay, so during this time frame, you could be doing a level of alchemy in your life. Like Geminis, you guys really are powerful during this month. If you set your intentions to be deliberate in your actions, you guys can manifest things with the quickness. Especially if you're trying to manifest like relocation, new money, you just need to be careful of things trying to throw you off, okay? And I think that also during this time frame too, Anyone who has manipulative tendencies may not be in your best interest, could be throwing your energy off. You will start to realize it and it will start to make you actually very uncomfortable to be around those individuals, okay? Let's pull another one. We have vampire, emotional intelligence. So yeah, during this time frame, you could be finding yourself handling things very mature. Like, even though somebody is trying to take you there, you could find yourself not going there all the way <laughs> okay and then also too you guys are going to be able to recognize the energy vampires in your life and some of you have been in awareness of who exactly is an energy vampire in your life it's just about being deliberate in removing them and i think that that's what you guys are kind of being forced to do let's pull one last card we have mummy which has changed so yes something in your life is about to drastically change this could be your finances this could be the energy around you and your person's connection if it's been tense okay or it could change for the worst change is just the energy of overall change and i think that your mindset most importantly could be at the center of all this change that's happening so, Geminis, I hope that you did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely thumbs it up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.